Hey guys, it's Vox here with another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed the Swamp Spider House and obtained the Mask of Truth, as you can see here. So, we also it was also hinted that we had to come to Romani Ranch to the Doggy Racetrack, so that's exactly what we're doing in this episode. Also, we're, after this, we're going to take care of one other side quest that, um, well, I, I could have done earlier, I just didn't really feel the need to, so... Uh, We'll take care of that as well and for those of you who played this game it has to do with beavers yeah all right so here's the doggy racetrack right here and uh let's talk to this lady what do you want on a day like this this is mama ma ma moves yan ma mama moo yan's doggy racetrack didn't you know that i can barely pronounce your name how would I have heard of this place? Plus, I'm not even from here. Do you want to try a dog? Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is ten rupees. Will you still try? It? Yes, I will. St what? Huh. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry. Um, so what we want to do is put on our mask of truth, and we can pick up the dogs and hear what they're thinking. I'm tired. I'm gonna take the day off tomorrow. Can dog? Okay, so yeah, that. One obviously isn't very confident. We want confident dogs, and we want to hope that their confidence is realistic. I'm too old for this. My right leg hurts. That no, yeah, not, not that. Um, I should do all right. Uh, not all right. We want something good. Today, I feel like I can win. Um, not really. I feel like I could win, but then I feel like I could lose too. Yeah, so confident. Uh, what about you? Hey, you, stay up, come. Oh, my belly hurts. Oh my god, all of these dogs feel freaking terrible. What about the golden one over here? Are you as golden as you look? I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. All right, that sounds good to me. Um, there are a couple of things that you want to you wanna watch out for. That's one of them. Also one about there's no way I can lose. Or I'm definitely going to win today. So something very confident ones is what you want. Okay, here, take take the dog. Don't don't throw it at her. Take here. I want this dog. Can I? Um, I'm confused. Um, okay. I I know you're. I want. Okay, I want this dog. Okay. I'll take my mask off, maybe. Can can you? Well, yes, that dog is fine. Alright, um, so first place we get triple our bet, second gets double, and between third and fifth we'll break even. And we'll lose if, we'll lose our, that money if we get any worse than that. So, what we want to do is, we want to make it so that we gain a definite 100, at least 150 rupees. So the easiest way to do that is just do 80. Um, now, so the... Basically, what it means is if we get second or first place, we'll come up with something more than 150. Um, it doesn't have to be 80. It can, well, obviously it can be more. Um, it can be less as well. It doesn't have to be just in one race. Just in this this time cycle, you have to earn 180. And it has to be consecutive, I'm fairly sure. So, we're just going to be safe and go with 80 rupees. And I said one, I, I meant 150, sorry. Um, so, go with 80 rupees, yes. And let's hope he wins. It's the only gold one there, so... Oh, come on. He starts way at the back. Okay, he's actually catching up quite well. Oh, wow. Now he's first. Come on, stay first. Stay first. Wow, okay, first try. There we go. Not bad at all. Okay, that's that that's good. I'm happy about that. <laughs> um I'm glad I didn't pick the blue one. I'm really glad. Well take me for a while, get call me spot you took first place. First play, whatever. You win triple the amount. That's two hundred and forty rupees. Too bad I don't have enough for that. 
the night the night is going. We've won over 150 rupees, so I guess I have to give you bonus prize too. And with that, we get a piece of heart, which is our second piece of heart for the heart container. You want to play again? No, I don't want to play again. I already won. I won the max that I could win, so no thank you. Um, so anyway, now that we've taken care of that, we're going to soar back to Great Bay. Um, we're going to go to the uh, Zora Cape, actually. A bit, that's a bit closer to what I want. And this is a fairly... Uh, I, I guess it's a fun minigame. I never really enjoyed it too much, to be completely honest. But it's fun, you know. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and get our Zora mask out. And we're going to come over here to... Well, hopefully that thing won't kill me. Uh, of course it's not going to kill me. Hold on, I have 11 hearts, and it's a tiny little fish made out of bones. How could that kill me? I can kill it by just tapping a button. Okay, anyway. Um, we want to come over here to the this this waterfall where we got a piece of heart. Um, I'm fair, yeah, we got the piece of heart. I'm like 100% sure we got the piece of heart under the waterfall. Let's kill the underwater like like. I think we got now, nah, whatever. Um, I actually need to put my bunny hood out just to make things quicker. And I'll also need a hook shot. Hey, get out of my way. Okay, so, um, actually, we just want to come over here. And we want to hook shot up to this platform. And basically, we're just going to be climbing these palm trees up the waterfall. Is essentially what we're doing. Well, Tattle goes over there, which makes me wonder if I could use a scarecrow here for some reason. Um, that's interesting. Let me actually play the scarecrow song and see what happens. Oh, wait, I'm wearing that. See what happens. Oh, wait. Let her go out there. Yeah, why are you here? Yowza! Oh, yeah, we meet again, baby. What a great plane, as usual. Why are you here? I could just hook shot to this thing. You have no reason to be here. Unless I'm missing something. Which I may be missing something. I'm not sure what those platforms over there are for. And there's a chest there. Hmm. I'm not actually sure about that, honestly. That's something I'll have to look into. Alright, so here's a chest here. Um, with rupees, I'm gonna assume. Yep. I really should have deposited those rupees that I got, because now I can't gain any more. I never like having a full um, wallet of rupees. I mean, as good as it is, because you can buy, like, a lot, it's really not great. Um, I meant to do that. It's not great because you can't gain any more. Alright, so you can go down that way, there's, like, some tri- Right. You can't go down this way. Um, there's like some treasure and stuff as you saw. But what you want to do for this side quest is come up here to where this cave entrance is. It's really not even a cave. It's just an entrance to a different area. And here we are at the waterfall rapids. Oh my god, it's a beaver! Wait until you see these things close up. Alright, so we have no more need for the human form anymore, so... Well, for this quest. So let's become a Zora. And let's talk to this guy. Look at that thing. What is it? I mean, it's a beaver, obviously, but... Well, it's a beaver because it said it was a beaver. I don't, I, I don't even know. Anyway, so what we're going to do is just dive down here to the ocean floor and talk to him. You again. You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Cuckoo, coo. Okay, I'll give you one. But, 
only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So, do you want to try? Sure! I do want to try! There's total 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count, or through the ones with rings that are flashing. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. So basically what we want to do for this, we're just going to swim around underwater as Azora, following him and passing through rings. It's a very simple concept. And I really don't have much to commentate on. I mean, I'm not going to speed through this because there's really no need. It's just, just a matter of being patient and making sure you get in the middle of the rings and not getting lost. I don't think there's any rings that surprise you. I'm pretty sure they're all visible before you actually have to go through them. Make sure when you do that one way you have to dive up you don't that you go, don't get disoriented. So I mean it's pretty simple. There's nothing too difficult about this. It's just make sure you're precise. That's really all I can say about it. And I mean here we have two more and that's that's literally all it is. There we go. Uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Did you call me little brother? I called you big brother. Actually, what? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't give you one just because he beat my little brother. I can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So, will you try? So, we do the exact same thing, but with five additional rings. So, I'm just gonna skip two when I finish this. Alright, so that was it. Just a slight bit more difficult, but that's really all it is. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. This is a mess, big brother. And with that, we get our fourth empty bottle. We underestimated you. Yep, you did. So, I'm not done yet. I, I'm not done yet. What I'm going to do is talk to these guys again. See what they have to say now that we've stolen their great treasure. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any... Uh, whoops. If you stay, if you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? I'll race. First, you have to start with my little brother. This time, the limit is 150. Don't fall behind. So I'm going to do this again. See you guys when I'm done. He did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That shameful little brother. Now race me. And again, for the fourth time, I race. Oh my god! Okay, look at this. Time's up. See that on the top right? That is the last ring. I missed one ring, and that threw me off. Ugh! Oh my god. Yes, I want to try again. Fifth time. Let's do this. Yeah! Ah. Uh. Okay, since that last cut, I had to try two additional times, and I just finished with four seconds left. He's a formidable for, for, for opponent, little. He's a formidable. He's a formidable opponent, little brother. You're all just talk, eh, big brother? If we give that to him, I wonder if he'll leave us alone, little brother. Yeah, I want to quit, big brother. And for all that, we get another piece of heart. Yay! Please let it be over. And with that, I will let it be over. So, uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're actually going to be doing something interesting. We're going to head over to the fourth area, Icona Canyon, and see what interesting things lie in store for us over there. So, 
with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.